you for joining us on this edition of Bronx TV News. I'm Tyler Zimmerman. And I'm Carlos Cuadros. Today is Thursday, October 9th, 2014. Coming up, we'll take a look at how the UTPA and UTB community has an opportunity to raise their voice and vote on the new colors and mascot for the new university. We will also tell you how a UTPA student is uh, making a difference in the Catholic campus ministry through her cooking. We will also let you know how the sports team is doing and the uh, men's basketball team is doing before the start of their season. For the upcoming university merger known as UTRGV, many students and alumni have voiced their concerns of keeping the legacy of UTPA and UTB as part of the new university's colors and traditions. One the Bebes has the story. Students at UTPA are making a difference by taking the athletic branding survey. There is a committee that's looking at branding and they are, they are gathering information from from far and wide. They want to get feedback from students, from the community, from alumni, and from university personnel as well at both campuses. And I think even beyond that, I'm not too sure how they're handling uh, the, the RAC and how they're handling Stark County. But they are trying to gather as much input as they possibly can. The Athletic Branding Committee released their survey October 1st and lasted until October 8th. It was available for all students, alumni, and staff. If you're a student at UTP or UTB, I think it's, you know, very important to be involved in the decisions that are being made about your community and the school. So, especially as an employee here, I really wanted my voice to be heard. As a student, I think it's our right to, you know, vote. Even, like, if it's just, you know, if you think, oh, it's not going to make a difference, you know, as long as we have a voice in it, it's, you know, I think it's a lot fairer and better. The UTRGV survey was a simple process that could be accessed online. We have laptops available for the survey uh, here at the library and then also at the student union. Students had the opportunity to take the survey and choose if they support the new athletic branding or should the U university embrace a bit of historical significance from UTPA and UTB. For Bronx TV, I'm Oneida Perez. Thank you, Oneida. For a student in the Catholic campus ministry, cooking is the way of expressing her devotion and belief. Alexa Chavero has the story. For one UTPA student, serving God is more than chapels and prayer. It's lending a helping hand to those in need of a warm meal. Put those, put these out there. Twenty-six-year-old Amy Hernandez has found her purpose as a cook in the Catholic campus ministry. For Hernandez, growing up, her faith was just going through the motions. She never really felt the connection with her church. But the journey here wasn't an easy one. She needed some guidance along the way. Her better half, Joel Garcia, also a UTPA student, showed her she could find a home in the ministry and with patience find a way to portray her faith. Faith and love, are, I think, are some things that you can't force on people. You, just, you know, and so she knew that the faith was a part of my life and we've been able to now, I don't want to say meet halfway, but it's a part of her life too and, it's, and we, we're now working together. Hernandez has more than enough with this small workplace to be able to provide warm meals to the more than 40 people that come here every Thursday. What I wanted to create here was community. You know, this is our, this is our family, this is our home away from home, this is where we pray, this is where we gather. And uh, I feel like this, this, is, this is me serving my purpose. This is what I can do. Giving them strength to preach and spread the word of God in the community is her way of saying, I believe. <laughs> this is the place to come and figure out who you are, what you want to do, and how to do it in the world with God, through God. For Bronx TV, I am Alexia Chavero. Basketball season is just around the corner, and the UTPA men's basketball team is certainly training hard to start the season off the right way. Dina Veda has a sports update. is in the air and that can only mean one thing the start of basketball season and UTPA men's Bronx are back on the court ready to compete in their second year in the Western Athletic Conference. Head coach Dan Hipscher says the first few days of practice was about repetition. It's always an exciting time of the year for the kids to get out there on the gym and start competing against each other and you know a lot of drill work now so there's a, a lot of repetition going on a lot of teaching going on so it's a little slower than you might like it but uh, great to be out there and great to see the kids working. He's really looking forward to the conference play. 
Well, uh, like anybody starting right now, uh, you want to you know win them all and play well. And, and I look for good things from this team. We've got good size. We've got some skill. It's just how it all meshes together and comes together. But uh, we're a little bit young, and uh, but hopefully by conference season, I think we could be a pretty good team. The women's soccer team suffered their first conference loss of the season after falling 6-0 to to the University of Missouri, Kansas City. The Bronx were outshot 20-5 to by Kansas City as both teams were recorded five saves. The Bronx will be back in action on October 10th when they host the Chicago State Cougars. For Bronx TV, I am Dina Vetta. That does it for today's newscast, Bronx. If you have a story idea, don't hesitate to let us know. Visit our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Radio. And if you want to know more about what Bronx TV and radio has to offer, visit utpa.edu slash brtv. You can also reach us on Twitter. Just search for our Twitter handle, Bronx TV Radio. Use the hashtag story idea to let us know what story you want us to cover. We want to thank you for joining us on this edition of Bronx TV News. I'm Carlos Cuadros. And I'm Tyler Zimmerman. Until next time.